While ospreys are woodworkers, red oven birds are sculptors of mud and clay. On a fence post of a sheep pasture in Uruguay sits the ruins of an old nest dome, an oven bird home from generations ago, now worn down to just the barest foundation. It's a secure perch with a commanding view of the open meadow. The female flutters and calls in excitement, and her mate comes to inspect the property. They're eager to close on the site and begin building here. All they need is a slight assist from the weather. Rain is essential for builders who work with mud. The wet red clay can now be mixed with vegetation and turned into custom blended adobe they are skilled at shaping. Facing more than a month of construction, the couple gets to work. They keep a close watch on how big the internal space must be. It needs to accommodate a clutch of two to four eggs and an adult to incubate them. As the home takes shape, lots of other birds begin showing an interest in it. A saffron finch and a kiskadee flycatcher will mark the location. One of them might use the place next year when the oven birds have moved on. But it's the shiny cowbirds that are getting too close. The glossy black ones are males but it's the dull colored females that seem most fascinated with the structure. The oven birds now spend almost as much effort defending the little house as they do building it. At last, the dome is almost finished. Only a large front opening remains, when the oven birds suddenly begin working on an intriguing internal structure. Inside the simple dome, the birds are crafting a remarkable foyer, a curved wall that will seal off the main section of the interior. But they leave an opening at the top of the wall that gives them access to the roomy inner chamber. The home now has an elaborate two-part entrance, a security measure that makes it easy to defend.
it's a tight squeeze in and out, even for the owners. Both parents come and go. For the next two weeks or so, they will take turns incubating the eggs, shouldering the duties together just as they have from the very moment they began to build. Building with adobe is an age-old practice. We humans have been using it for some 10,000 years. But imagine a much older architecture.